Hello there beautiful Minecraft addicts. Uh, again with a let's play. <laughs> Without further ado. Let's play. Okay. Let's try a seed and see if something good happens. Something like that. Actually, this is the first time I've tried this seed, so uh, let's see what happens, shall we? Right, as you can see, I have raised mini map in the top right corner and about 10 FPS. Man, this is killing my computer. My poor little computer. Let's uh, take a look with raised minimap. Oh, nice. So we have an oil spot. I don't know if uh, you can see on the map. There is a black smidget <laughs> somewhere in the right. Of course, as usual, uh, not enough items set on uh, recipe mode. So, uh, I haven't played Minecraft for uh, quite some time. Uh, I have played, of course, in uh, multiplayer, which was, I don't know if you know this, but uh, that was my last video in, uh, on a multiplayer server. And I can't seem to get uh, my addiction for Minecraft out of my head. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I don't know what am I going to do with this. Now, what should I uh, tell you guys? I want to talk uh, a lot about um, the mods I installed. I seem to have a problem. Oh, yeah, this is a big one. Um, not a really big one, but still, it's something to build upon. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So, basically, we have some kind of meadow here. A nice plain with a forest in that part and a winter biome that way. Ooh, sheep. Is that sheep? I think that's sheep. As usual, I also installed um, more creatures. And I don't think you'll be able to see that right away, but um, in time. Okay, so we'll need something to kill this sheep because I. Um, I don't want to spend the night in a <laughs> underground. I know I'm making a wooden sword. Yay! Fancy that. Come on, sheep, I need some wool. Oh, darn it! There you go. Thank you. Yeah, I'm very bad at uh, killing animals, I know. Whoa, these are a lot of sheep. Okay. I'm just going to really quickly do, do that bit so I can uh, have it on me when the time comes. Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna need a pickaxe. Although that's usually that's usually not uh, not used 
Okay, let's see what we have around here, shall we? Nothing much. What the hell? Oof. There's a fox, there's a fox. I want that fox. Now, um, what's the plural in English for fox? I have no idea, but I know that they give leather, and I'm going to need a lot, of, a lots of leather for for the beginning because I have the backpack installed. And until I'm going to get an alchemy bag, that's going to be my main source. Alright, so I need to get fast some um, cobblestone. Because um, I'm not very comfortable with the wooden dome. Whoa. Okay, nice cave. I'm not very comfortable with um, wooden. Uh, oh, tools, man! Tools—that's the word I'm looking for. Wooden, bloody tools. As you know, I've tried. Uh, some other let's plays I tend to begin them but never actually finish my let's plays uh, that's mainly because all the mods get updated so fast and I'm not in the habit of uh, progressing very fast in my let's plays I like to I don't know, I've always been a slow player. I don't like to advance very, very fast, and that's been one of my, let's say, weak points. Ooh, another fox. Maybe we'll get lucky enough and. Get enough leather. <laughs> okay, let's put down uh, this guy over here and make ourselves an axe, maybe even one more. Okay, and I'm going to show you a new mod that I installed instead of timber, it's called Tree Capitator. And it has a nice feature. There you go. <laughs> As you can see, not only that um, all the pieces of the trunk fell, but also the leaves. And that helps me a lot. Um, of course, the, the timber mod had an option. If you press the um, C, while hold it while chopping down a tree, it would um, allow you to. Whoa, that was a zombie. It would allow you to not uh, have uh, all the adjacent uh, wood piece wood blocks drop. But um, I think this is uh, actually more helpful. And we, it will uh, allow me to advance quicker in the game. What's with the zombie sounds? Come on! Yeah, the zombie is being an asshole. And I think it's starting to get night time. So love this. <laughs> Some glitches. 
Well guys, um, I'm going to be right back after I've collected a few materials. Alright guys, so uh, I managed to gather a lot of wood, a lot of saplings, a pumpkin or two, some apples. Uh, nothing too important. I have set my home base in the middle of this um, uh, meadow over here. Okay, so basically it's going to be next to these uh, pumpkins. And I wanted to show you something not extraordinary but incredibly awesome. Now I was going in here to gather a little bit more wood when something caught my attention and I'll show you guys in a second. Yep. And the fun thing is that you actually can't see this guy on the map. There is a smidget of black in there but it's so well camouflaged that you wouldn't be able to see it so that's an awesome seed I just picked <laughs> and um, yeah what can I say <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that so um, as you can see there are a lot of flowers these are uh, from uh, Pam's um, mods and um, first of all I like the fact that uh, there are so many colorful flowers in the world that um, that's kind of um, that's kind of nice and of course they also help me with um, colors for the um, red power wires now what should I do next uh, first of all I want to get rid of uh, all this grass it's bugging me like hell so I'll be right back alright so I was uh, minding my own business here cleaning out the land and apparently we have a black horse which is really really nice so let's tame him let's see if apples work on these guys yeah <laughs> one at the end because um, these guys tend to get uh, unfertile after uh, a first uh, mating and I really don't want that so let's keep on uh, cleaning the area alright guys so um, I got myself uh, into a red power rubber tree just so that I can show you my valley a little bit better now that is uh, where I'm going to build my uh, entire complex now um, for starters uh, it's going to be just a simple uh, I think a 9x9 uh, house will be enough but the thing is that uh, in the future I will have to take into account the fact that uh, the fact that uh, more creature, more creatures introduces ogres into the game, and I didn't want to get rid of the, uh, those ogres with the config file. So because I want to have a little bit more of a challenge. Um, the the single thing that ogres don't uh, destroy is obsidian, and 
ores so I'm going to have to think how can I include that into the game okay so let's see how are we going to do this
it's a little bit annoying uh, the the original glass glass texture that I got this from was I think um, DocuCraft so I um, I made that into a 16 by 16 and just deleted a, deleted a few pixels here and there and that's how um, I want uh, I I did this well, pardon me but I don't know I I mean I saw um, another texture that I kind of liked it was basically the um, the original texture but made a little bit um, better by deleting all the upper and lower um, pixels so just this pix these pixels here were left and I think that was kind of nice but uh, I don't know we'll see so um, yeah this is uh, it for episode 1 I'll see you in my next episode when we will go a little bit uh, mining yeah uh, don't forget to be awesome guys ciao